Hey guys, welcome back to Clarissa's Kitchen. We are not in the kitchen again because mm -hmm. we are here in Irvine, California at Boiling Point. Right there. And if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Camille and obviously you know Clarissa. We are doing a food review today of one of our favorite restaurants. I'm so excited, so hungry, so let's fill our bellies. Mm -hmm. If you guys would like to subscribe right down below, turn on those notification bells and give this video a thumbs up. We're gonna eat some amazing food, so let's go. First things first, <laughs> menus are QR codes. Maybe go back a little bit more. No, nope, so you have a menu where QR code does not work. But we do have this. Maybe that's why they gave us paper this time around. It reminds me of like when you go to dim sum and you check off what you like. Yeah. Okay. So usually the first page is um, the most like newest, seasonal, or something they're just trying to test out for the season. Green is the hot green, tire red maha, maha. <laughs> you get your options of hot soups, and it comes with a free tea every time you order a hot pot. It's perfect. But they have a few specials, they keep the menu pretty simple. And then if you really want to go heavy on the spice, there's options there too. If you just feel like appetizers, there's a quick, simple menu. And then any add-ons for your hot pot, plus more beverages if you don't want the free tea. Something really cool about coming at lunchtime is that you get complimentary iced tea with it. I don't think they do it for dinner. I could be wrong. You can get a black tea, or of course I got green tea, which we'll see later, and um, it's really refreshing. And I probably wouldn't order tea if I like knew I had to pay for it, so this is a plus. <laughs> nice! Well, this is green tea, and I got it unsweetened, so you can have the option to have no sugar if you want, which I always go for since there's just a lot in there. Okay, you got yours at the first try. Like, <laughs> if you guys end up seeing it, I had so much struggle getting my straw in. Okay. Ooh, that's strong. I feel caffeinated. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We've been intermittent fasting, so we're waiting for this moment. I've been waiting since last <laughs> night, and now I feel really jittery. <laughs> guys we just massively spilled we the were, chili oil we were trying to show you guys that, that was so sauce. chaotic <laughs> in like a span of but two seconds camera see camera see no there's chili oil oh no okay wait okay let me get <laughs> so i think this is fine i had chili oil all over the side of the lens except the actual lens itself lucky duck So Cami has like no like no combination of sauce she normally likes. She just puts everything together. I particularly like the garlic bean paste, garlic chili sauce, and the chili plum powder potentially. I avoid the soy sauce because I'm gluten free and I really try to avoid that. But this would be my combo. These three. Do you have? Really name these two. Do you have like two of this, one of this? I kind of do equal parts. So good question. I do two parts of bean paste and then two parts of the chili sauce. And I actually think I don't put that in as much. I the just like one? sprinkle it. The yeah. plum or the? Yeah, I've never used the it. chili plum powder. Yeah. Looks interesting. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wait, is the that robot. for us? <gasps> Wait. I didn't... Robots are here. <laughs> I The last time I was here, there was no robots. And I went to school out here for four years. Oh my gosh, so, that's so new. And I was out here trying to be besties with our waiter. And <laughs> the robot was just going to serve us. Yeah, that's interesting. I still think someone is supposed to take it from you. Like, I still think someone is supposed to put it on your table. Because if you spill it, like, that's, that's messy. You know? Yeah, and it's... Um, Probably and someone, I think, still needs to light the fire. So, I think it's cool that it brings it to you, but no, someone still actually does a service for you.
Okay, so I got the beef one, which is actually my main go-to. Like, even if they're seasonal things, I will not try new ones. I got it in mild, and as you can see, it has beef, corn. It has, like, their signature boiling point tofu, which you can kind of see the BP. Oh, BP, like black pink, but <laughs> boiling point. Um, I really like the mushrooms, and I like the onions on top. And then I will, even though I, you haven't, you guys didn't see me make, like, my sauces, I will put sauces probably, like, later when, like, most of it is done, and I'll show you guys that. I highly recommend making sure your meat is fully cooked before you eat it, even though it looks cooked, but it's still cooking right now. Good news is while it's cooking, yeah, like you're losing some broth. They'll come around later and they'll ask you if you want more broth and they'll just refill it for you. So you're never feeling like, oh, it's, it's done. Because <laughs> it won't be. For me, I just got the mushroom hot pot. So you have a variety of mushrooms like mushroom gnocchi, the tofu skin. There's also, I don't know, oyster mushrooms too. And then an assortment of veggies. You have an option for a veggie broth or beef broth, and I got veggie broth and with the side of chili. Also, rice. You get a side of rice or vermicelli noodles. But we just both got rice. We, we're, we're, we're hungry, we you guys. <laughs> I think you guys would understand. Okay, so what I actually do, it's a little weird, but I'll make like a little well in my rice. Usually I get vermicelli, but if I'm doing rice, then I'll take the broth because it's so good. And I'll like <gasps> soak it up in there. I'm Filipino, so I'm very used to having soup and rice at like every meal. So this is why I do it like that. And then I will take my meat and I'll leave it here. I'm not like Carissa and I'll like take it one bite because I'm definitely like sensitive to heat and I'll, I just won't enjoy it if my tongue's burned. So I'm gonna wait for it to cool a little bit here and then I'll like I'll mix it up and then I'll eat it. That is brilliant. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I'm gonna dip it. And then I love when the rice just soaks all of that. Same. Up. Oh, so good. Let's see if I could do this one bite. <laughs> <laughs> she took it like a champ. That would have been like burning in my mouth. <laughs> mm. Pop pot's my favorite meal. And so when Clarissa was like, you know what I'm I'm like, for sure, pop pot. <laughs> All right, so by the way, right now, it's hella spicy, but I think it's because all the spices were at the bottom and I didn't add my sauces. Like, my sauces are just for dipping. But I wanted to point out that there is vermicelli in here. So if you're trying to decide between getting rice or extra vermicelli, getting rice, I feel like, helps you get the best of both worlds because as you can see, there's ample. There's like so much of it. Onto my last bowl, there's nothing left. You could refill the broth if you really wanted to, but with all the rice we're eating, I do not want it to expand and make me like just pass out. <laughs> yeah. Mine is definitely not as empty as Clara says. I'm not done yet, but just at the point, you can even see all the chili oil, like all the bubbles. It's really spicy now, even though it's just mild. Like if you really like your stuff spicy, I honestly recommend still going with mild because this chili, this garlic chili sauce, I'm pretty sure is what they put inside here. So if it's not that spicy, where you can keep adding your spice level instead of picking medium or spicy. This was already spicy for me. So I'm not gonna add any more, but that's just my thing. And then for the veggie broth, because it's clear and there's no spice added to it, if you guys wanted to switch it into like beef broth and then add your own beef on the side, I've done that before and it mm -hmm. tastes really good. So that's an option for the non-spicy folks out there. But I will tell you, I'm also, like my lips are burning as much as Cammy's because this sauce <laughs> is so addicting and so good, but like burning my mouth in a good way. Okay, so Clarissa hasn't had these before, but they're basically little desserts. They have a lot of fiber in it. I don't know if it's supposed to help you after you're done eating, but they usually have different flavors. I haven't tried this one. This one's passion fruit, and it's a jelly with like, I think, chia seeds inside. I'm gonna give this a try. I love passion fruit. It is so good. I'm assuming it's just passion fruit. Yeah, it's really just jelly. 
Think of like the Asian jellies that you get from the store. It's like that, but it has chia seeds. Mm. Amazing. See? This high one again. Okay. <laughs> Love it. It looks like that. <laughs> Like, maybe like the lychee jellies from the. Here's your mm. That is so satisfying. Yeah. It's not even that sweet, too, but you get a really great, like, bouncy texture from the jelly. And yeah. then you get some of the seeds from the passion fruit. Just making sure there's no gluten in it. <laughs> <laughs> you already eat it. Yeah, so and then sweet. It's vegetarian. vegetarian. There was really only like two ingredients. Ah. All right, my foodies, that was so delicious. I will say our bellies are full. Like, I'm trying to see if I have a food. I don't baby. even think I, I need to, like, get. I wore stretchy pants today. So <laughs> I would say if I was wearing jeans, I would be unbuttoning them when I sit back in the car. <laughs> but I think you were, like, also really prepared, too. You yeah, know, more like at leisure stuff today. Well, I really enjoyed our time. That was fantastic. How would you rate it, Cami? Okay. Honestly, because we don't have anything to compare it to, I would rate it a 10. <laughs> and there's a lot of different factors to why I would rate it a 10. Okay, maybe we can start with like taste yes. first. Well, so she ordered the beef and I ordered the mushroom. Uh -huh. Me, for taste, it was a 10. They loaded it up with all different variety of mushrooms. So you got so many different like tastes and notes. Mm -hmm. It was like, a lot of umami taste, which I really enjoyed. And then it balanced out with like Napa cabbage and some rice noodles with it. It was all perfection. I think I just really love the broth. And I think the big part of why the broth is so unique is just because of all the different ingredients inside. Mm -hmm. Given I did get a beef one, so there's a lot of flavor more of that saltiness that's already in there. But I think because I got it mild um, and I could add the different sauces to it that they had on the side, you saw they had like our little like towers of different sauces. It just gives it a very like unique flavor where your every single bite could taste different. And then how would you rate the customer service and customer experience? Service. Well, no, there's a car like right behind <laughs> us. Like I don't understand. So we moved. <laughs> so okay. how would you rate the overall customer experience? Um, customer experience. So you, when you come in, you have to like check in at a um, little iPad thing, right? And it'll text you if the table's ready. But I think our waiter, who met with us was still very kind and nice and always asked us if we had questions about the menu. The menu we did have to look up ourselves with the QR code and that's just kind of how we picked it up. But the reason why I'm gonna give him a high rating is because as you guys saw earlier, we made a big mess <laughs> because we were trying to look at all the sauces and they were very kind with us and patient with us as we tried to clean it up. There was a robot that was served very our surprising. Soup. That's so, completely new. Yeah, so I'm used to them delivering our soup to us, but I think that's also a plus because that means they're not giving us the wrong soup. Yeah, they're just like carrying that. it from a short distance versus like carrying it from the back of the kitchen. But yeah, I think customer service, I r would rate it a 10. Like they were really patient with us, especially new where we're filming, we're trying to get our order down and they came probably like five times and they were totally okay by it. They were super helpful. So I, I really enjoyed it because you still get the human interaction even though there was a robot that surprised us both. Uh -huh. But it was all look really good. Yeah. Cost is pretty reasonable. It was like about $35. It's pretty affordable for a lot that you can get. And remember, we did not refill our hot pots with broth, but mm -hmm. you could have technically a second meal if you really wanted to. With inflation oh, and everything, wait, wait. I think it's a really good deal. There's music bumping in the background right now. <laughs> and there's no cost to adding more broth to it. So what she said about like having an extra meal, I think it's totally possible. <laughs> yeah, I really love the dessert at the end. Like Cami was saying, yeah. they were doing some other type of jelly or jello mm -hmm. in a cup. With but, chia seeds. Uh, this one was so good with the passion fruit flavor they gave us today. So it was a great palate cleanser. I really loved it. And you could take some home with you if you want to purchase it on the side. Mm -hmm. But that was so much fun for our first food review because yeah. we did boba for you. I'm counting that as drinks. And we have those two posted if you guys are interested in us reviewing a few boba spots in the Orange County area. I think if you guys have any other food places you guys want us to visit we would definitely love to do more of that and we can just give you more like closer up on what food we like to order um, what the experience is like so we definitely like to do these again so let us know if there's any other place you want us to check out and give this video a thumbs up make sure that you don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notification bells and we'll see you guys next time bye bye okay is it going
Okay. Test one, two, three. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> 